Edward the Third. Edward the Third is a five-act play that some scholars have attributed to William Shakespeare, although the evidence is scarce, mainly relying on similarities to his early history plays and occasional passages. One reason why Edward III was not included in the list of Shakespeare's history plays. Interestingly, the play was not included in the first folio of 1623. It was published in quarto form in 1596. indicating that it was likely written in the early 1590s when history plays of this nature were quite popular the play draws its inspiration primarily from raphael hollinshed's chronicles summary of the play in edward the 3rd the story unfolds with king edward the 3rd of artois learning that he is the rightful heir to the previous king of france however tensions rise when a french ambassador demands edward to do homage to the new french king for his lands in guienne edward determined to assert his rights decides to deal with a scottish siege in the north of england first as his army arrives the scots flee and edward becomes enamored with the beautiful countess of salisbury who is defending the besieged castle despite the countess's rebuffs and a daring plan to win her over Edward eventually realizes the error of his pursuit and vows to focus on his kingly duties. In the second part of the play, Edward leads his army into France, engaging in a war to claim the French throne. There are arguments and battles including the Battle of Crecy, where his son Edward the Black Prince distinguishes himself in combat. Despite facing overwhelming odds, the English emerge victorious. and prince edward capturing the french king at the battle of poitiers back in calais the english triumph and the citizens are set to surrender edward demands punishment for some but his wife queen philippa persuades him to pardon them more successes come but they are tempered by news of the prince's supposed defeat however prince edward arrives with the captured french king turning the tide in favor of the english The play concludes with the English celebrating their triumphant return to Calais.